Now I know I've been spamming you guys with a lot of gameplay videos, so I decided to change it up a bit with an informational video on the actual game rather than the speculation around it. In this video, I will show you what the hype is about around these gravestones and guide you on how to get to the secret boss in the game. This is going to be a pretty short video, so with the intro out of the way, let's get to the rundown. Alright, I'm assuming you either bought a weapon already, like the Converge or Crack Shot, which I don't blame you for since they're really useful. But if you haven't bought anything at the moment, this part isn't yet for you, so skip ahead into the video or use the timestamp below if you have at least one coin in your possession. But if you have none of these, this is what you want to do. Alright, I'm going to give you two options. One hard, one easy. The hard option is that you have to go to the King's Leap and beat one of the King of Games' challenges to get two coins, which I doubt any of you want to do. Or hell, you probably already defeated every boss except this, so I respect you for that. But if you don't want to do that, you can take the secret path behind the bakery and obtain a hidden coin on the island. And once you obtain this coin, you can go to Porcran's Emporium and purchase the broken relic for one coin. This is to be able to interact with the gravestones that are near the Howling Aces boss fight. You then want to speak to these climbers on the podium in any order you wish, but you have to interact with the gravestones in the order in which they're placed on the podium. So the one in the middle is obviously first place, and then the left, which is second, and finally the right, which is third. They will give you hints as to which gravestones to interact with and end in what order. The most important thing is that everyone's hint is different for each player. So I'm just going to show mine as an example of what I got and how I interpreted my hints, but it is very rare that you will get the same hints as me or anyone else. So yeah, let's get the hint, shall we? I spoke to them from left to right, but I'm gonna explain them in the correct order. I got upright at the crack of dawn just to come in second. I always win, I'm downright awesome. Third place, I guess things can only go up from here. So these are the hints as you can see, they're essentially telling you which gravestone to interact with. So here we see the first place one is telling us to interact with the gravestone in the bottom right, the second is top right, and the third is the gravestone in the middle top since there isn't any actual direction. Direction. Once you talk to them, you then equip the broken relic charm and go towards the gravestones to then interact with the gravestones in the order they told you. Also, by interact, I mean the button you use to speak to NPCs or enter levels. Once you do that, the middle gravestone should light up and you will be able to interact with it. Then an animation will play out and it will take you straight to the boss fight. But once you beat this boss fight, your broken relic will turn into a curse relic, which will fix your HP in boss fights to 1 HP and will change your weapon randomly every few seconds. This is is just an extra challenge for all of you who thought it was too easy and the DLC couldn't get any harder. Well, we've now reached the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you all have been enjoying the DLC like I have. So check out some of my videos on it. I've already gone through every one of the main bosses in the game and I'll be uploading more soon. And at the end of every video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this and more videos like this. And at the end of every video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like these. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you all next time.